Our plan for this trip is to do mostly experimentations with new tools, uh, get better at what we're doing. To be more specific, to experiment more with the needles, with some acrylic blades. We have a new T connector to do more abstract like painting using the poi. So I'll be able to do some shapes around Kim, like landscape images with tiny bit of light painting. Okay, let's end up this thing with some slow motion footage of kittens now. This is lovely. Welcome to Morocco. Wow. First night of light painting in Morocco. Oh, we kind of just arrived in the room and... Um, <laughs> um, hmm. right there we had no idea what was on top of this hill we just decided to walk and see what was available I'm not disappointed <laughs> look at that You guys remember Lightspin? That's the project we did 2013 using 24 cameras and stop motion plus light painting techniques. It's one of the first things we try when we start to do light painting outdoors to replicate that kind of technique. We were doing the acrylic blade over and over, Kim was moving, but it was not good and we we're not ready for outdoors light painting yet. Tonight is the first time we try that. Thing since 2014. Yeah. Yep. The trick here is that we're going to do circles because this is a shape that I'm, I know I'm able to replicate over and over. Like I wouldn't do that for more complex shapes. So Kim is going to start with one pose. I'm going to do one circle. She's going to move just a little bit two centimeters, that was the rule back then, two centimeters, and then I do the tube again, again, again. That means we should see the background moving. Is, isn't that cool? Is it cool?
it worked, but <laughs> my shoulder, ouch. It's just a simple plastic tube, but it was very heavy, like doing this thing like 50 times. Ouch! I have to train more to be able to do that. I, I cannot even do it uh, another time tonight, so we'll do other shapes. Yeah. <laughs>